Breaking, Fat Check Obama's brother just accidentally received reveals corrupt new scandal, this is just what the world needs. Another Damn Clinton Foundation It seems like former President Barack Hussein Obama's brother Malik Obama may have received a check by accident which might prove what the former president has been up to since he's been out of office. By the looks of this check, as is always the case when it comes to crooked Democrat politicians, it's obvious there is some monkey business going on here. This is probably the start of a slush fund operation like the now infamous Clinton Foundation which played a huge role in crooked Hillary Clinton's loss in the 2016 presidential election. On top of the questionable donations, it was uncovered that the foundation was full of financial discrepancies and a number of irregularities in its tax records which could have violated state laws. During the early phases of her presidential run, crooked Hillary Clinton was put under a microscope for the business model her family's foundation uses. But the Clintons, being the crooks that they are all banded together to push back. They went as far as calling the foundation one of the most transparent organizations in the world. Keep in mind this is from the same people who redefined what sex is during former president and world-renowned sexual predator Bill Clinton's sex scandals that define his legacy as president during the 90s. Former President Bill Clinton, in an interview with Town and Country magazine, actually went as far as to say that the Clinton Foundation was by a good long stretch, the most transparent of all the presidential foundations and more transparent than a lot of other major foundations in the country. Keep in mind this is the same man who looked us all in the eye and pointed his finger at us while saying he didn't have sexual relations with that woman, Ms. Lewinsky. WND.com reports, Ortel poses 10 specific concerns about the most recent set of Clinton Foundation filings for the calendar year ending December 31, 2013. He focuses on insufficient and materially non-compliant detail in the operation of the Bill, Hillary, and Chelsea Foundation in total as well as in the operations of its largest single program, the Clinton Health Initiative Incorporated, typically represented in the Clinton Financial Reports by the acronym CHI. The first two concerns are explained in full detail, to demonstrate the technical depth of Ortel's analysis. Ortel's concerns 3 through 10 are presented in summary fashion. More in-depth analysis can be found at Ortel's website. Specific concern number 1. Financial disclosures for the Clinton Foundation Annual Report Year 2013 were filed significantly past regulatory deadlines that are regularly met by charities of comparable size and standing. Tax-exempt organizations such as the Clinton Foundation in Chai are required to file complete returns on IRS Form 990, together with all supporting schedules and attachments as soon as May 15 for the previous calendar year. A single three-month extension is automatically granted, however. The IRS exercises more judgment granting or denying an additional extension past August 15 for calendar year filers. The Clinton Foundation appears to have filed its Form 990 for 2013 around November 14, 2014, some six months past the deadline, as noted on page 26 of the bill, Hillary and Chelsea Foundation consolidated financial statements for December 31, 2012 and 2013. Ortel explained the problem as follows, during 2014, a year when the Clinton Foundation pursued an aggressive, far-reaching fundraising campaign, potential donors who might have been interested to review legally mandated filings that generally are an essential component of evaluating a charity did not have an extended period of time to do so. Specific concern number two, the independent audit for the Clinton Foundation was completed 31 days after the date when Form 990 was filed with the IRS. Tax-exempt organizations as large as the Clinton Foundation was in 2013 are required to obtain and contemporaneously file an independent audit that is performed by an informed, empowered, and experienced firm of accounting professionals. Moreover, multiple questions asked in Form 990 require filers to reconcile entries with key numbers contained in the independent audit. For calendar year 2013, the Price Waterhouse Cooper audit letter is dated December. 16, 2014, and signed at the Little Rock office, as seen on pages 3 through 25 of the Consolidated Financial Statements for December 31, 2012 and 2013. Ortel further points out it is not clear that Price Waterhouse Cooper conducted an audit in the commonly understood sense of this term. As the audit letter notes, 
the consolidated financial statements of the foundation is of December 31, 2012 and for the year then ended were audited by other auditors whose report, dated September 10, 2013, expressed an unmodified opinion on those statements. By this language, PricewaterhouseCooper limits its evaluation as follows, T. He consolidated financial statements, present fairly, in all material respects, the financial position of the bill, Hillary M. Chelsea Clinton Foundation at December 31, 2013, and the changes in its net assets and its cash flows for the year then ended in accordance with accounting principles generally accepted in the United States of America. Ortel's point is that since Price Waterhouse Cooper did not independently test the opening balance sheet for calendar year 2013, the accounting firm cannot have truly assessed key financial positions and arrangements, let alone fully understood the long and deeply troubling history of Chai dating to its formation in Arkansas in September 2009 and of a similarly named predecessor entity. Furthermore, Ortel points out, according to specific disclosures in the audit prepared by Price Waterhouse Cooper, Subsequent events that may have occurred in 2014 were only evaluated through December 5, 2014, see the end of footnote 1, leaving a potentially crucial 11-day period that was explicitly not considered by the accounting firm. Finally, key sections of IRS Form 990, see Schedule D, page 4, parts 11 and 12, as seen in page 51 at the above link to the consolidated statements for 2012 and 2013, are not filled in. So, unless an amended Form 990 was later filed, the Foundation neglected to reconcile its independent audit with information contained in its 2013 Form 990 and failed to correct the material deficiency thereafter. Ortel's specific concerns numbered 3 to 5 are listed in summary form as follows. Specific concern number 3, for 2013, key consolidating information for constituent Clinton Foundation entities was prepared by management and reviewed by independent auditors, however, the information appears deliberately withheld from public view. Specific concern number four, in relevant years, the Clinton Foundation either filed an obscured consolidating financial information or elected to cease filing consolidating financial information. Specific concern number five, the financial impact of fundraising for the speaker's endowment is not clearly delineated and segregated from results shown for operations. If you don't believe this whistleblower, then all you need to do is ask any Haitian about how the Clinton Foundation defrauded them after the massive earthquake of 2010. Please share if you believe the world doesn't need an Obama Foundation. Please do not forget like on videos, and subscribe, and comment because your voice matters, and visit our page on Facebook, and like them, and follow up, and thanks for watching.